we're spending our time as individuals, as collectives, as charities, trying to get on top of this knife and gun crime issue and trying to take control of our streets and make sure young people are safe. And so I'm asking, what are the government doing in this? Because I can't see anything. And, and you, you know, I'm out there trying to work with these young people. I'm trying very, very hard to see what the government is doing to combat this issue. Now, I'm seeing all these initiatives that look really great, songs about saving lives. But what are they really doing in terms of educating young people? Young people don't need any more songs. Young, young people don't need uh, puppet shows in schools. Young people need information and education, which is hard hitting and fact, and it's true. Young people need to know the effects, the harmful effects of drugs. They need to know what a criminal record is, how long it lasts. They also need to know about underage sex. They need to know these this information is cool. And I can't see the government providing our children with enough of this information. And I'm actually appalled because every school I go around, I say to them, what do, you, what do you teach them about drugs? The children know nothing about drugs. Now, 10 years ago, we ran a drug education program in Harringay. And that drug education was so successful that we had young people going off and mentoring other young people in schools about drugs and underage sex. And then the government pulled the funding on that. The government pulled the funding on that. And so we couldn't continue this work. And I have to ask myself whether or not those young people who were receiving education 10 years ago, are those the young people that have now left primary school now that are the teenagers on the streets which are stabbing and killing people? And I don't know about your borough, but it had an impact in our borough, Harringay. We were able to change the lives of young people. So without this education, are young people void of knowledge? Do they understand that a criminal record lasts till the age of 99 years old. We spoke to a young boy the other day who thought a criminal record lasted until he was 21. And that just goes to show the lack of education. A criminal record is with you for your entire life. And so it's alarming that the amount of children coming out of school and getting in trouble with the police and having criminal records, which is going to last them for their entire lives. And they've just started their lives. So my pleas to the government, and it's this, you need to show, as the government, you are governing these people, you, you are governing us. You're working for us. You shouldn't be asking us as community leaders, what are we going to do to help stop this epidemic? You should be coming up with the solutions for us, to, to workable solutions for us to run with. We don't need to be coming to you saying, what are you doing? But my question is this to the government, what are you doing for young people? Because we don't need songs, we don't need... Like I said, puppets in schools, we need hard hitting information. So we need people that can, are active and up and going into schools. You know, there are a few I can name which are doing some really positive work at the moment. And I take my hat off to them because they are changing lives. But we need more of those people. Yeah, we need volunteers. We need those. Any community needs volunteers. But we also need incentives like funding for people to go into specific schools where there is recorded incidents of knife crime, um, young people bringing drugs into school, young people having exceptional knowledge about drugs in the home and bringing that information into school. And I know social services quick to pick on it, you know, pick up on that information and act on it. However, we need to have more interaction from the government. You know, one of my points, and it's always been one of my points, is where the hell are the knife bins? You know, you've got an epidemic of knife crime on the streets. I contacted a knife bin organization who told me they collect 25 knives every two weeks. So where, you know, but, but they charge 4,000 pounds to put these bins in local areas. And that is funded by people like myself and like you probably watching. So why are the government, the government not putting these bins in? Why is it you can't go to every school and see a bin next to that school or every community and see a bright yellow bin where you can dump a knife. Why are we not seeing this in our communities? Again, the government talking but not really acting because for me to pay 4,000 pounds for a bin out of my personal pocket is never gonna happen. Um, however, the government have initiatives where they speak about reducing knife crime. So let's get some bins on the streets. So it's really, really important that we 
start looking at what the government is doing for these young people because these young people are dying and that's you know that's the end of their lives we need to start asking you as the government what are you going to do to save these young people because these young people need saving you know we as community leaders i keep saying cannot go out into every household every school we are limited by time and resources so we need better initiatives better trained people to go into these schools and educate young people about the dangers of knife crime, underage sex, and the short-term and long-term effects of substances on the body.